we interact with many objects that operate on electricity. For example, we know that the radio control car, electric scooter, MRT train and USB fan all run on electricity. How does electricity cause the fan blades to spin or wheels to turn? It is the turning effect of the DC motor inside. For my demonstration, we will refer to this simulator kit of a single coil DC motor. In real life, note that a single coil DC motor will not produce enough magnetic force for the coil to spin. A DC motor has various components such as a split ring, carbon brushes, coil, permanent magnets, and batteries. Now, let's take a look at this setup of a simplified DC motor. As current passes through the conducting coils in the presence of a magnetic field, we see the turning effect. We have just learned that the interaction between the magnetic fields of a current carrying conductor and a permanent magnet produces a force on the conductor. The interaction of magnetic fields reveals the direction of the resultant magnetic field. A magnetic force will then act from a stronger to weaker magnetic field region. In this demonstration, let's see how magnetic forces are generated on this single coil when current passes through it in the region of the magnetic field. Here, a DC motor is connected to a battery. This is the direction of the conventional current and magnetic fields are generated around the coil. The magnetic field from the permanent magnet interacts with these fields from the current carrying coils. Let's deduce the direction of the resultant magnetic force. In regions A and C, both magnetic field directions are the same. So the magnetic field strength is stronger. While in regions B and D, the magnetic field directions oppose each other, so the magnetic field cancels out mutually and becomes weaker. The magnetic forces act from stronger to weaker magnetic field regions. These two magnetic forces produce the turning effect and cause the coil to turn. Remember, we can determine this direction using Fleming's left hand rule. Take note of how the Fleming's left hand rule looks like using your left hand. The next time you see personal mobility devices, you will know that it is the turning effect of the DC motor inside that makes your ride possible. <laughs>